Hello, everybody. This is Vanessa. And Casper. We just got back from Minneapolis. We are actually walking through Boston Logan right now. It's just very, very quiet. (laughs) Our sound effects are amazing. We had so much fun in Minneapolis, and today is going to be the first time that we are sharing one of our live shows, not just as a bonus episode, but as one of the actual chapters of one of the books that we are going through. We are going to talk about Chapter 26, The Second Task, through the theme of loyalty. Mm, So you will be just as if you were in the audience live in the Basilica of St. Mary, the oldest Catholic basilica in the whole of America, right here in Minneapolis, slash there. Because we're at Boston Logan right now. That's right. Because it was a live show, you're going to hear some edits because we have the audience turn to each other. So we're going to edit out the bits where they're just chatting. And you're also going to hear some laughter that you may not understand because Ariana put together a hilarious slideshow, for example, in my opening story. Also, we just want to offer a little bit of a warning. When we are live, we are unedited. And so there's a little more adult-ish content. I would say that our live shows are more PG-13 than PG. And so if you are listening with a young listener, you might want to pre-listen to the episode and make sure it's appropriate for them. I don't think we cross any big lines, but there's a little bit more banter than usual. Yes, and any swearing is bleeped out. So there won't be any words that might be particularly shocking, but there are some more adult themes explored in our conversation. For those youngsters who decide to skip this episode, we have a little offering for you until we talk to you next week. Casper, what shall we be hearing? The Three Little Pigs by Roald Dahl. The animal I really dig above all others is the pig. Pigs are noble, pigs are clever, pigs are courteous. However, now and then to break this rule, one meets a pig who is a fool. What, for example, would you say if strolling through the woods one day, right there in front of you, you saw a pig who'd built his house of straw? The wolf who saw it licked his lips and said, that pig has had his chips. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The little pig began to pray, but Wolfie blew his house away. He shouted, bacon, pork, and ham. Oh, what a lucky wolf I am. And though he ate the pig quite fast, he carefully kept the tail till last. Wolf wandered on, a trifle bloated. Surprise, surprise, for soon he noted another little house for pigs. And this one had been built of twigs. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf said, OK, here we go, and then began to blow and blow. The little pig began to squeal. He cried, Oh, wolf, you've had one meal. Why can't we talk and make a deal? The wolf replied, Not on your Nelly, and soon the pig was in his belly. <laughs> Two juicy little pigs, wolf cried, but still I'm not quite satisfied. I know how full my tummy's bulging, but oh, how I adore indulging. So creeping quietly as a mouse, the wolf approached another house. A house which also had inside a little pig trying to hide. You'll not get me, the piggy cried. I'll blow you down, the wolf replied. You'll need, pig said, a lot of puff, and I don't think you've got enough. Wolf huffed and puffed and blew and blew. The house stayed up as good as new. If I can't blow it down, Wolf said, I'll have to blow it up instead. (laughs) I'll come back in the dead of night and blow it up with dynamite. Pig cried, you brute, I might have known. Then, picking up the telephone, he dialed as quickly as he could the number of Red Riding Hood. Hello, she said, who's speaking, who? Oh, hello, Piggy, how do you do? Pig cried, I need your help, Miss Hood. Oh, help me, please, do you think you could? I'll try, of course, Miss Hood replied. What's on your mind? A wolf, Pig cried. I know you've dealt with wolves before, and now I've got one at my door. My darling pig, she said, my sweet, that's something really up my street. I've just begun to wash my hair, but when it's dry, I'll be right there. A short while later, through the wood, came striding brave Miss Riding Hood. The wolf stood there, his eyes ablaze, and yellowish like mayonnaise, his teeth were sharp, his gums were raw, and spit was dripping from his jaw. Once more the maiden's eyelid flickers. She draws the pistol from her knickers. Once more she hits the vital spot and kills him with a single shot. Pig, peeping through the window, stood and yelled, Well done, Miss Riding Hood. 
Ah, piglet, you must never trust young ladies from the upper crust. For now, Miss Riding Hood, one notes, not only has two wolfskin coats, but when she goes from place to place, she has a pigskin traveling case. Whether or not you decide to listen to this Minneapolis live show, we hope that you enjoyed Casper's twisted idea of what is appropriate for children. (laughs) Enjoy! Chapter 26. The Second Task. You said you'd already worked out that egg clue, said Hermione indignantly. Keep your voice down, said Harry crossly. I just need to sort of fine tune it, all right? He, Ron, and Hermione were sitting at the very back of the charms class with a table to themselves. They were supposed to be practicing the opposite of the summoning charm today, the banishing charm. I'm Casper Turkile. And I'm Vanessa Zoltan. And this is Harry Potter and the Sacred Text, The The Live Show! (laughs) Woo! Hi, everyone! Hello! Hi! Hi, Twin Cities! (laughs) Um, Before we jump in, we want to make um, a formal introduction. She has a face, she has a voice. She has hands. She has a book. It's Her name Ariana is Ariana Nettleman. <laughs> you will have um, a newfound appreciation for her tonight as um, you hear us talk without being edited. And we'll be like, wow, she's really good at what she does. Mm-hmm. And um, Ariana is also doing music for us for the first time ever tonight. Ooh. So behold, Ariana the hipster. Um, and... It's a very special day, not only because it's a live show, but for some birthdays. Yes. So we heard from Shannon that it is Anna Redman's birthday. Where is Anna? Anna? Yes. Anna, happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday, Anna. And we have also heard that it is Erica Halverson's birthday. Erica, Erica. from Wisconsin. Yes. <laughs> Can we all on the count of three say happy birthday? 